Hey guys, it's Dr. Mike Majmundar with Northside Plastic Surgery here in Atlanta. Uh, we're talking about uh, the difference between a mini facelift and a facelift. Uh, to be honest with you, in our practice, uh, we do something called a natural mini facelift or a natural facelift. Uh, and that refers to the fact that we don't want other people to know that you had it done. And someone should be able to sit right next to you and not tell you that you've had it done and not be able to see any scars around your ears or on your face. Um, and as a result of that type of lift that we do, uh, our lifts, all of our lifts last about seven to 10 years. So it doesn't matter if you do a mini, mini facelift or a facelift, it will last the same amount of time. The procedure that you get really has to do with the amount of skin that you have and the amount of tightening that we have to perform. So the more tissue you have, the more uh, skin we have to remove, uh, the bigger and longer the decisions will be, and the more work we have to do. To believe, believe it or not, the downtime for both procedures is about 14 days, no matter which one you do. Uh, and that's because of the way we do it. Um, but the in terms of pain, it's the same. Again, 98% of patients just use Tylenol for these procedures. Almost nobody uses pain medicine for this anymore. Um, the surgery is done downstairs in our surgical center. Uh, we have board certified MD anesthesiologists that put you to sleep uh, or give you uh, a little bit of uh, margarita through your IV, so to speak, and it makes you relax while you do the procedure. You can do either one, the cost is the same. Um, and we have some of the surgeons that bring their patients here to our center uh, to do this, their surgeries. And so it's a very, very safe facility. Um, the scars are virtually invisible. Of course, initially uh, they'll be red um, and you'll need to cover that with a little bit of makeup. <clears throat> and the incision, the portion of the incision we're really worried about is the one right above in front of the ear, right in here, it tends to stay red for several weeks. So you may keep that covered with a little makeup or your hair, and that is a great job of covering it. Um, as I mentioned before, the downtime between the two uh, is pretty much the same. And, um, and both of those procedures include full treatment of the neck. So it doesn't matter if you do a mini facelift or a mini or a regular facelift, you will still address your neck full. Thank you.